Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope your weekend is going fantastic. Okay, today I'm going to be finishing up um, part two of the My Monthly Hero Kit. This is the June 2017 card kit. And so I'm going to be working on card number six. Now if you missed part one, the first five that I did at the end of this video, there's um, you can click on it and it'll take you right to part one. So um, let's jump in. I'm taking a piece of this beautiful um, well, it's a metallic quartz cardstock, and I just trimmed it down so it's like a quarter inch shy of a standard size card. Lovely. I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to use another piece of this quartz cardstock, and I had cut out using masking paper a half circle, and so I'm just going to place the circle part directly on my my cardstock here. This has a beautiful shimmer to it, and it um, blends so nicely with the inks that came in the kit. Um, I'm just going to place that right in the center, and then I'm going to go in with the three uh, inks that came in the kit. You have a mold wine, you have a rust, just rust, and then you have a moss. So I'm just going to do some sh um, some shading with all these colors, and then I did go in with my Memento Rich Cocoa ink to kind of tone it down a little bit. I'm just going to peel off that masking. Lovely. And then I'm going to take the negative space and place that um, right over that half circle that we peeled off. Lovely. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. For this card I chose the Be Strong. Um, this was a very unique card for me. But um, I think the outcome could, it was a masculine card, um, it, or it, it was, it just turned out really nice. It's a universal card, let's just call it that. Um, the kit came with a black embossing powder, so I used the VersaFine ink and I went ahead and heat set that. Now I'm going to go in with um, this little grass stamp, and using VersaFine ink, I'm I'm going to um, stamp the bottom part of this too. I'm sorry I'm out of view, but, um, and then I did remove my masking. I figured I didn't need that for this. And I just stamped that on, on the bottom here. And again, I'm using the embossing, the black embossing powder that came with the kit. And I went ahead and heat set that. Once I got that done, lovely. Now I'm going to go back over and place that, um, oh actually I want to stamp my image. The image I chose was the little tribal man that was holding a spear, and so I'm just stamping him using my Versa, um, my VersaFine. And then I went ahead and used the embossing powder and heat set him too. And then I went ahead and cut him out. So that's the only image I'm going to be using for um, for this card. Um, I'm placing the ma the negative part of the masking back on, and then I wanted to add some yellow, and so I'm using my Distress ink. This is fossilized amber, and I'm just going over that circle area. Lovely. I'm going to peel that off. Lovely. Now I wanted it to blend more, so I'm going over with a little bit more of the fossilized amber just around the edges of that half circle, just so it has a nice little shadow on the outside of it. Lovely. Okay, now here's where I, I, I'm going to cut him out um, using the, the coordinating die. But then I thought I wanted a little, little bit of a yellow background to him, so I used, again, my Fossilized Amber Distress Oxide ink, and I went around that image. Now here's, I'm going to take this um, panel here, and I'm going to cut it into three different parts, three equal parts. So I'm going to um, start off cent with the center piece, and I'm cutting it. Um, cutting that out, and then I'm going to do both ends, creating the same size. So I have a three um, three panels 
almost like a puzzle kind of a piece and then in the kit it came with this cork board so I'm going to cut three pieces of this cork board out that's slightly larger than my image sheet and then I'm also going to cut out um, some black cardstock that's just slightly slightly larger than that cork board I'm going to just use this is um, my Nuvo uh, deluxe adhesive I'm going to use that to secure the cork board to my black cardstock it works really well I did that to all three and then what I'm going to do is take my image and place that on top of the cork board. This card was super simple, but it really turned out very pretty. I was very happy with the way this turned out. It was very different. So that was my centerpiece. It had my sentiment on it. And then I'm taking the end pieces. And then I secured that to my card base. For my card base I used a standard size card base and it's also um, a vanilla color, an off-white and so um, I just placed them right in the center. And then I am popping up my little tribal man here and I'm going to place him directly over the sentiment. I thought about putting him to the side but I didn't like it. I wanted everything to be centered. So I just put him right in the center. And that was it. That court that quartz paper is beautiful. It made it really shiny. Very different card, but I like the way it turned out. Okay, now we're gonna move on to card number seven. Now for card number seven, I thought it would be well, there's a sentiment in here that says um hippo birthday to you. So I thought it I need to make a fun card for this one. So I'm taking the hippo in all three inks. I'm stamping like a collage of hippos. So I have that done. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. For this card too, I used the vanilla cardstock. And so I'm stamping my sentiment, hippo birthday to ya. And for, for my sentiment, I'm using the mold wine. lovely I messed up I I smeared it so I'm just flipping my cardstock over and I'm going to re-stamp it I, for me when I when I stamp um, with these little ink cubes and my block for some reason I get heavy-handed and so often I have to re-stamp it <laughs> so good thing we have another side of that cardstock <laughs> next I'm taking the hippo and I'm using the Just Rest and I'm going to stamp the hippo off to the side. I'm going to end up um, die cutting that hippo out. Um, I grabbed a rectangle die from my stash. It's a stitch rectangle die. And I, I want it to fit all the hippos so I'm just adding a few more hippos here and there. So, so I get better coverage. I'm going to place the die on that and secure it with some washi tape. And then I have a smaller stitch rectangle die, and that's what I'm going to use to cut out the sentiment. I'm just going to run all of these through my big shot. Okay, now I also cut out a piece of this. This is the um, bronze metallic paper that came in the kit. I trimmed that down just a hair so it would be um, outlining my little hippo panel here. And so I directly adhered that to my card base. And for this one too, um, I'm using my, my vanilla colored cardstock. I'm gonna pop that up. For this one I use my um, my fun foam. And I'm just gonna place that in the center of my card base. Lovely. And then I'm gonna pop up my sentiment piece as well. And I'm going to place that on the bottom. And I'm sorry I went out of view for this one too. I think I need to adjust my camera a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop up my hippo. And when I placed my hippo next to my sentiment, I think it, he blended just a little bit too much. And so um, from my stash, I have these Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are a real pretty color. They're... Um, Midnight, no, that's not it, sorry. This is like a truffle, chocolate 
you know, chocolate fondue. And so I went over my little Just Rust Hippo. And actually the color of the Nouveau Crystal Drops co uh, matched that quartz paper beautifully. And that's it for that card. Happy Hippo birthday to you. Nice birthday card. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to move on to card number um, eight. Now for card number eight, uh, the My Monthly Hero Kit came with, um, it came wrapped with this paper. And it has like zebra stripes and then it has like a tiger stripes. And so when you un unwrap the paper, it becomes like, like a tissue paper almost. So I'm going to just unwrap unwrap those and I thought I'd make a card with those and so I'm using my tape runner and I'm going to go around a panel this is a panel just with white cardstock and it's about um, half an inch around shy of a standard size card base and then I'm going to take this paper this this paper ribbon here and I'm going to start in the corner and wrap it around the back and I'm going to um, alternate the zebra stripes from the tiger stripes and I'm kind of quench, uh, squinching it a little bit so it, there's a lot of there's a little bit more texture there and I think this just turned out so neat I did that continually along the whole entire card base or actually the the panel here lovely and I just the you really can't see the texture that this adds but I think it it was really neat neat way to use those papers <laughs> or those those paper ribbon I should say lovely and I just uh, secured that ribbon um, in the middle because that's where I'm going to be placing my sentiment so I didn't want it to pop up I'm just um, using my tape runner on the back here and I'm putting that panel directly on my card base for this card base I'm just using uh, white cardstock so now we need a sentiment so I'm going to grab this lion and then using my VersaFine ink, I'm just going to stamp stamp him on some white cardstock. Lovely. Now, um, I didn't stamp the image too well, so I'm just going in with my black alcohol marker. And then for the sentiment on this card, I chose um, Wild About You. And I'm going to stamp him using the same ink um, right above, right above the, my lion here lovely now I was going to leave it at that but that looks so plain to me and so I have these acrylic paints and um, I want to do a little bit of splattering and so these are real thick acrylic pla uh, paint so I just add a little bit to my acrylic block and then I add some water and I mix it up and then um, I mix it up with my paintbrush and then I use my paintbrush to splatter splatter this on there this is actually the same color as the the tiger stripes and um, this did take a little bit of time to dry so um, after it dried I grabbed a die for my stash and I, I cut that out and I'm just gonna pop this up with some foam tape or actually a dimensional adhesive here this card was so simple but the texture that it really it has is really neat it's almost fluffy <laughs> yeah it's hard to explain but it turned out really neat and I'm just gonna place it right in the center and that's it for that card very simple easy great way to use those extra supplies now since we were using the ribbon that came wrapped up in the my monthly hero kit this tissue was on my desk and I thought you know what I am gonna do this technique um, so I'm just using my Nouveau deluxe adhesive and on a piece of white cardstock and I'm tearing bits and pieces of this tissue paper that the kit came wrapped up in um, if you, if you, I did this technique before using a brown paper bag and it ended up looking like leather. So I thought I'd do it with this, this tissue paper and I really liked the way it turned out. It turned out so neat. I ran it through my Big Shot with my rectangle die 
and um, it flattened it even more and it just I love the way this looks so that tissue that it, your my monthly hero kits come wrapped up in if you you were to use this technique it is so fun okay now I'm gonna stamp my sentiment for this sentiment I chose it's been too long and I'm using the moss ink that came with the kit and I had to flip it over again because I did mess it up. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking the, the larger giraffe that has the coordinating die and I'm using my VersaFine ink. I'm inking him up really well and I'm going to stamp him on the white cardstock too. And I'm going to go ahead and use black embossing powder and I'm going to heat set him as well. Just so he sh he's bold and shiny. After I heat set him, I'm going to use a rectangle die to cut out my sentiment. And then also the coordinating die for the giraffe. I'm going to cut my little giraffe out as well. Okay, now that we have our elements done, I'm taking that same size um, rectangle die and I cut out a piece of the cork board. I wanted to coordinate uh, the cork board in this card so I just cut out the same size rectangle. And then I'm taking a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to adhere that to my card base. This card base I'm just using white, a standard five and a half by four. Okay, now they got that placed in the center there. I am going to be using my my glue here and I'm going to secure my cork board to that bottom corner. This card is kind of like a abstracty kind of card. And then I was going to place my little green paper on the card base but I wanted, um, it was a little bit of a bold green. So I'm just going in with a Memento Rich Cocoa ink and I'm just dressing the edges really good and then I'm going over the entire panel. And I really like the way this turned out. It kind of fluffed those light, uh, those edges up. Actually, guys, this would be a great way to make a camouflage card. <laughs> so if you have any like browns and greens tissue paper, great way to make a camouflage card. But I'm just going to pop this up with some foam tape, and then I'm going to secure it to my card base right in the center. Lovely. I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment. Once I have my sentiment adhered, I'm going to place my little giraffe. I popped him up with some foam tape as well. And then as I was looking at my card, it looked really plain. I mean, it looked boring. So I thought, you know, I'm going to lift my little giraffe up and I need to stamp a tree or something there. So I grabbed the small tree that was in the stamp set and then I'm grabbing the moss and going over the top part of the tree. And then I'm grabbing the rest, the just rest and going over the bottom part. And then, um, that way my tree's kind of two-toned and I'm crossing my fingers as, I, as I'm stamping this hoping it'll make a good image and I got lucky because <laughs> it did make a really nice image and I, I was happier with the way this turned out. I just placed my giraffe right in the center and that's it for that card. Kind of a masculine card I would say. <laughs> okay now for my next card. This is the last card of the day I should say. I'm going in, um, this is a Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock and um, I'm going in with all three inks and I'm just doing a variant of coloring. I wanted to kind of create uh, a sky kind of effect but the colors just ended up being like a real, real, um, not really like a sky effect but I like the way it turned out so I went with it. I stamped that grass twice on the bottom and then I'm grabbing the fancy die that came in the kit and I'm going to just go ahead and cut that out. And then I'm using that, that um, what is it, the bronze paper and I cut out a circle just larger than this fancy die here. I'm going to pop my little piece out and then I wanted to create a scene but um, just for a little added interest, I took my rich cocoa ink and uh, distressed the edges 
a little bit more lovely. Now there's a little itty bitty tree and so I thought I would stamp that in the background and create like a little scene. Now the only sentiment that I haven't used for this kit was jumping for joy and so I wanted to use those little elks the, they're itty bitty elks and I wanted to place them on the bottom of my scene here. There I stamped the sentiment. It says jumping for joy. And then I, I stamped the, the the single elk here and then I stamped the one that was jumping just so it kind of went together right in between the tree and then the other one. And then I went ahead and grabbed the the larger elk and stamp that on the bottom as well. And for all the stamping and for this one I used the Rich Cocoa ink. Now I just used my tape runner and I I adhered that to that black um, that bronze paper. Now for my, for my stash I have this um, stencil. This is called a modern chevron stencil it's from Echo Park and I'm just going to place that on my little this is actually my card base I'm using a white card base for this one and so I'm going in with the mold wine and then I went in with the moss and then I went in with the, the just rest and then I added some uh, rich cocoa ink just so it all coordinated well then I'm going to use some fun foam and I'm going to pop that up place that right in the bottom here and then I'll open up my card base here and then trim off the excess. And that's it. That's card number 10. Very, I think the softness that this this has is real pretty. I uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I want to give you a quick look at all five cards that I made today. And then also a quick look at all five cards that I made for part one. So you can see all ten cards I made with this kit. Now this kit was a very unique kit for me. Um... But I had so much fun creating these 10 cards. It forced me to think out, uh, think of different ways on using things, and I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me. If you want to see more and you're new, hit that subscribe button. And um, tell me what you think of these cards by hitting that thumbs up button. I thank you again for watching and I, I really, really appreciate all your wonderful comments, guys. They are so uplifting and inspiring and I appreciate every single one of them. Um, sometimes I don't have time to get back with you on your comments, but I want you to know that I really appreciate every single one of them. I wish you a great rest of the day, a wonderful beginning of the week, and we'll see you soon. At the end there, there's part one if you missed it too. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.